Welcome back to the shop for another filament review. This is the Amazon Basics Transparent Red PLA. This stuff runs really excellent good, just like all the other PLAs. Um, standard benchy test. A little bit of problems with the overhangs, not much. Nothing that can't be cleaned up. Surface is really nice and smooth. Bottom is glass. You can actually see the infill pattern, which is really nice sometimes. All the surfaces look great on it. Absolutely wonderful. And of course the mandatory cute dragon. Um, this is about the time that I've run into the only problem that needs to be sorted out and understood. If you cut on it. See, I had to cut the uh, support off the bottom. It turns a white color. So be aware of that to make sure that you see where I had to cut the support off because it didn't want to break off. See the white? So be aware, this does leave a whiteness if you press it and pinch it by cutting it. So be aware of that. Um, the only other complaint I had with it, I made a bunch of uh, sample spools for some samples I'm going to be getting very soon of different sizes was the first comment I had when I showed this to somebody and I told them it was transparent red was they went that's not red this is red this is the rip wrapper red that I love absolutely love this product it runs great for a cheap filament this is more of a watermelon is what it was explained to me about so you can kind of see that it's not really a red, even though it prints absolutely beautiful. It's more of a watermelon shade. So just be aware of that, that if you're expecting a red for translucent, it's more watermelon in shade. But it does run absolutely great filament. And I absolutely loved running it. It calls for, see if I can find it on the spool here. Um, 190 to 220 every bit of this was run at 200 it absolutely loves 200 degrees on both of my machines this was run on my anti, anti cubic console these were run on my Wanhell i3 plus so I mean first shot every time no redos multiple parts smooth finish on every single one of them so, no overhangs, no stringing problems with it. I mean, right there, see that one little string? That's about all I had to clean up. But smooth finish, no zits, no lines, no layer separations. This stuff is absolutely becoming some of the top filament to have. I can't wait to try some of their PETG out really soon. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to get some of yours, Use the referral link down below. It actually gives me just a little bit, not much, but I can actually afford to get more spools like this, more PETG, and more stuff to do reviews on for you guys because there's nobody out here really doing all of these individual filament reviews and actually showing you parts that are made out of them and how well they run. And I wanted to share with the rest of you. If you like this video, I don't... If you really don't mind, hit like for me. If you want to leave a comment, I answer every single comment that's put out on every single video. I love the interaction with you guys. I know this is a little channel. It don't get a whole lot of traffic. But I love every person that comes by and views it. Because that means somebody actually cares what I think. And I tell you, that means a lot to me. But uh, subscribe if you want to. That's up to you. Like if you want to. Comment if you want to. And if you, all I ask is if you go to buy some of this, please use my referral link because I can use that to buy more to sh so I can test it before you have to buy it. Thanks for watching.